guys, it's Dion. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Dion. I am a K-pop enthusiast. Today I'm super excited, as you can tell by the title, and as you can tell by my Stray Kids jumper. I'm actually going to be doing a get ready with me and testing out the new Stray Kids X Clio eyeshadow palettes. So I ordered these through a group order within Australia probably about a month ago. So I have two palettes and they also came with pop sockets. So you got to put preferences. I wanted Jisung because he's my bias of Stray Kids. The only ones left were Changbin, Sungmin and Jongin I think. So I ended up getting Changbin. These two, I think they're actually called Grip Talks. I don't actually think I'm going to use them. At the moment, I just have them on my shelf display. For the palettes, I have two. So this one is the 101 Morph Kids palette. I actually prefer this one out of the two palettes that I bought. So it comes with a little brush as well, which I think is handy. And actually on the back of the boxes, it has the shade names. That's kind of annoying that it's not actually like on the palette itself and or on the back of the palette. It's only on the box. That kind of annoys me, but it's all, it's all right. It's like first world problems, right? This is the Brick Kids palette. I'm filming this video with a studio light. So this isn't natural lighting. So I'll zoom you in a little bit. That's so up close and personal. So zoomed in on the double chin. So I have no makeup on my face at the moment. All I've done is cleanse my face. So I have two cleansers that I went in with. The first one I did was the Senka Perfect Whip Cleanser. The second cleanser I used was the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser. I've just recently started using Dermalogica again. I used to use them when I was, um, a teenager and I was first trying to get rid of all my acne and it worked like a dream. The only thing is Demologica is super expensive. Thank God for Afterpay. So before I do my makeup, I'm just gonna put a little bit of products onto my actual skin. I didn't moisturize or anything because I was just gonna start the video completely and utterly barefaced. So I'll just go in with a toner and a moisturizer and then that's probably gonna be enough. Toner, I use the Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. I'm about to run out of this one though, so I do need to repurchase, but once again, don't want you to so See what I mean by I'm about to run out? Like, there's literally like nothing coming out. If you're wondering why I'm looking down here, it's just because I'm looking in the mirror. And I also realize I keep looking in the viewfinder when I'm talking instead of looking at the camera. So sorry about that. On to moisturizer, I'm using the Langeen Water Bank Hydro Cream X. It's just, I don't know, there's just something about it. Like it smells so good. It feels super good on my skin and it's super moisturizing. My skin is dry. It used to be oily when I was younger and now it's just dry. Nothing but dry. Before I move on to my makeup, I'm gonna put some hyaluronic acid on and this is by the brand Myzon and it's the original skincare energy hyaluronic acid 100. So I just like dot that over my face and then just like pat it into my skin. Usually I have a lot more steps to my skincare routine but I'm just gonna do those for now because I'm pretty sure that'll be fine as a makeup base. But if anyone wants to see a skincare routine of the two people watching, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll get around to filming that because I have a lot of skincare products that I use. I'm just gonna fan my face down using my trusty little GOT7 fan. I'll start with brows. All I'm gonna do is go in with the Drawing Eyebrow Slim by Etude House. I bought these ages ago when I went to Singapore, I think. Literally just like give myself a bit of a tail. Pretty much done with my brows now. And I hardly did like anything. Now I'm just going to carve them out with concealer. And for that, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I actually really, really, really like this concealer. It's thick, but it's like hydrating thick, if that makes sense. It's like everyone carves their eyebrows out in a different way. And this is just the way that it worked for me. But I saw on TikTok the other day, a girl was carving out her eyebrows and she just used the wand, like the concealer wand, and just went, Zoop. if I was to do that, I would just put half the bottle of concealer on my face. I know that it just wouldn't work out. So I'll just do it this way. But I'm just gonna realize that I'm never gonna be a pro TikTok makeup artist person. All right, so I'm gonna put some concealer on my eyes as my eyeshadow base slash primer. I'm gonna set it with a little bit of my Laura Messier translucent powder. Oh, by the way, I'm blending this out with my Beauty Bakery complexion sponge thingy-ma-bob. Super good. Got them on the Morphe website. They're in a pack of like six for... I think it was literally like $25 or something. And they were so cute. They came in like an egg carton because they were called like blending eggs because everything from Beauty Bakery is like 
themed around a bakery. So it was called like eggs and it came in an egg cart and it was sick. But I'm on to my last one now. I need to buy some more. I'll zoom you guys in even closer. I'm so sorry about that. I'm gonna go in and test out these eyeshadows now. I don't know what eyeshadow look I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try and use shades from both palettes. Obviously, if you guys have seen my channel before, you know I'm not the best person to do makeup. So I'm gonna start with the Brick Kids palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade We Know. This shade here. That's nice. I actually like this shade, it's nice. Nice little warm tone, neutral shade. Why is it literally not even showing up on camera? Next, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in. I'll take a shade from the Morph Kids one. So I'm gonna use the one My Lane, which is this fifth, sorry, fourth if I could count this fourth shade from the left and just apply that on like my outer portion of my eye and start to bring it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm going to go in with this last shade here, which is called Go Up, and I'm gonna go over the same place as I did, but I'm actually gonna bring that shadow in to third of the way on my lid. Oh, by the way, I bought these. Did I say I bought these palettes with my own money? Yeah, I feel like I said that already. It was definitely not sent to me. I wish it was. Wish it had been sponsored, but it's definitely not. And now I'm gonna go in with one of the sparkly shades and I'm gonna test out the brush that it comes with as well to apply the sparkly shade. I'm gonna try this one here. This like rose gold color and the shade name is Knockout. I'm gonna see how well it applies the shade. It might not be ideal. You might have to apply it with your finger. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of, it's more just like glitter. You can hardly even see that. I'm gonna try it with my finger. There we go, that's better. Just using my finger instead. on with a cotton pad with some micellar water on it. I'm just cleaning up the edges. Take a tiny little bit of this first sparkly shade and that is called Young and Free. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of that in the like corner of my eye. And this one doesn't feel as glitter gluey. This one actually just feels like a normal shimmer shade. I'm gonna leave the eyes for now and move on to the face. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna start with primer and this is my Cila One Step Correct Primer. I love this. I'm. This is probably like my 10th bottle. Like I'm honestly never gonna stop using this primer ever. I never have any beef with it. It's just so good. I'm going to use my foundation. I haven't used this foundation in a while, but I went to Woolies the other day and it was on special. So you best believe I snabbed it. And it's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is the shade 1D slash 1D triggered. 1D slash 1W golden ivory. This is the lightest shade they had at Woolies and it's probably still gonna be too dark for me, but it's fine because I'll just tone it down with a bit of concealer. It is supposed to match to your skin tone and kind of like adapt to it. So it might not be too bad. And I'm obviously applying this using my beauty egg. Thing. I saw someone doing like a makeup hacks video and they said don't apply foundation to your under eyes because that's what creases it and for yonks I've been wondering like why does my under eye crease so bad and I never would have thought it was from putting foundation like in my under eye area so I'm just gonna try concealer today and see if that actually like stops it anyways now I'm going in with concealer I'm using the Colourpop concealer once again Oh my gosh, my under eye looks so bright on the camera. Moving on to the next step, I'm gonna do some cream contour and this is the Morphe hashtag effect 11 contour stick. I've only just recently started using cream contour and actually, 
don't mind it. I used to never do it. I don't know why. I just actually just used to be really bad at contour completely and I'm still am not amazing, but like I'm getting there. I'm trying. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose. To quickly set my face and I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I take my small Real Techniques setting brush and just drag it under. I don't bake my under eye anymore because honestly doing nothing but creasing it just never works for me so I just don't do it anymore. I'm gonna go in my like nose crease area and down my smile lines. I'm gonna take my Zoeva powder brush and I'm gonna lightly just dab over the rest of my face. I'm gonna contour over the cream contour using my Morphe. This is actually just a face powder, but I got it in a a uh, darker shade like cooler tone for my skin this is filter number nine because a lot of the bronzers that i've tried or contour colors i've tried just look orange on my face and the bh cosmetics make me blush brush yes it is a blush brush no i don't use it for blush i'm gonna go over where i um cream contoured and then i'm gonna go under really want to get rid of my double chin. I'm going to get this triangle like disposable sponge that I got from Woolies and I'm going to put that under where I've contoured. Then I'm going to contour my nose. Back in with that uh, Morphe powder and a small like tapered brush. I've never really been that good at nose contouring so I kind of just like do whatever I think is semi acceptable. I just get my small little like setting brush and I kind of just like blend over it and then I go back in with my woolly trusty woolly sponge and I just go over the middle of my nose and then the side so I look like that. I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and finish my eyes. I'm gonna get a smaller brush and I'm gonna start with that first shade that I used. We know. I know. You know, we know, they know. I'm going to grab a liner. This is the Colourpop Cream Gel BFF Liner in the shade Peach Fuzz. I thought it was nude when I bought it, but it's more of a peach colour. I'm just going to go over my waterline. I'm going to take this tiny little lip brush and I'm going to go in. Let's try this shade. This shade is called Fly Tonight. I'm going to put this in my inner corner. That's done, then I'm going to go and brush off this powder. Blush, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush in Desert Rose. I love this shade, it is so cute. My face going higher up onto my cheek. Then for highlighter, I will use my trusty MAC Soft and Gentle that I've had for about six years. I'm just going to apply that. My nose tip and whatever's left that I'm just going to put like on the high points of my forehead. Now I'm just going to gel my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. So before I do my mascara and my lips, I'm going to set my face and I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter makeup setting spray i usually use this one or the morphe one so i'm gonna use this one for today my go-to mascara is always benefit roller lash but recently on tiktok i saw everyone going off on this baddie and that's the maybelline lash sensational sky high mascara so i really wanted to try it because everyone was like losing their marbles over how good this was i'm gonna be honest i don't hate it and it is a lot cheaper than roller lash i think roller lash is about 40 australian dollars and this maybelline one i got it on special for 13. the main reason why i like roller lash is because the wand is so thin so my only complaint about this mascara is that the wand is quite thick it works for other people but it's quite thick for me these are my eyes with one application of that sky high mascara and it looks 
hectic good. Last thing left to do is lips and I'm going to line them with the ColourPop BFF Lippy Pencil. Hold on, I need to sharpen her. So I'm lining and filling my entire lip with this color and then I'm just gonna go over with the gloss. How many times have I mentioned TikTok in this video? But I also saw this product on TikTok and this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I saw this and the Sky High one actually in the same video. Someone was doing, uh, I think it was literally like a products TikTok made me buy video, which made me wanna go out and buy them. It is in the shade. 002 ice this was the only one that they had let's give it a go oh it smells so good oh my lips don't stick together we're actually done now whoops that was the wrong way so this is the completed makeup look leave your thoughts down below no hate i'm not a professional so this is with yellow base lighting and this is with white base lighting on my studio light this video was mainly just to get ready with me to suss how the Stray Kids Clio eyeshadow palettes are. I've got to say, I really genuinely like them. I love the shimmery shades and I definitely need to play with them more so I can get more of an idea of how every single shade works. If you guys have them, let me know in the comments below what you think of them. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And I guess that's probably it for me. I will see you in my next video. Peace. Na 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 na